Let me show you how far that our special boy has come. Lester and I are coming home, and I do believe that I just caught Storm standing in the sprinkler. This girl is such a water baby. Look at her. Rita's <laughs> over there with her. Good for them. Hi, baby. She really is. She's standing right underneath the sprinkler. Her bird friends. Yeah. She got a lot of friends today. Now, that is a smart horse almost in the shade her front half is in the shade getting sprinkled on and rita is all the way in the shade getting sprinkled on living the good life now bucky's you can barely see this but bucky's in pond he's like guys i don't really like it to hit me like that i just want to go all in oh that makes my heart so happy now the donkeys will they'll be here for like moral support but ain't nobody getting wet at all. Hi Bucks. Hi buddy. Hi Ivy. Hi Ima. Hi Bevy. Hi Danny boy. You ready for dinner? Yeah? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, and Dinky Daryl too. I'm coming Daryl. I'm coming. I have two girls who are pretty excited about a shower. Come on, sweet girls. Well, they were, okay? They ran a little bit and then they paused. And I don't quite know why they paused. I am filling up water trough. Pretty much what I do here four times a day it feels like there they come they know that I've been given showers before we eat cool everybody down now voodoo and Bucky's are still in the barn over here I am trying to entice Bucky's to come out which will make voodoo come out and when voodoo comes out he doesn't come for a shower he doesn't really want that he knows he's gonna get one in his pasture oh that's why they paused because Lester was coming out <laughs> Lester was coming out of the barn and they thought, oh, he's gonna feed us before, Ma he, like they're ignoring me, essentially. So I really want them all to come over here because then Voodoo will walk up and I can open the gate, let him out, get that party started, get him in his pasture, get him fed, taken care of, wound packing all changed and rinsed and clean and beautiful and you know, all those things. And then the girls, a shower, and Bucky's a shower, and then dinner can be served. But it appears that I'm gonna stand over here by myself for some time. Dang it. Oh, somebody changed their mind. Thought they might come along. Here comes my big fella. Here he comes. Oh, be careful, sweetie. Hi, Rita. Now, Rita is gonna go get a lick of protein before she comes over. Not there's my storm. Hi, sweetie. Come on, Boo. Let's go. Come on, sweet girl. She's like, but you're filling up waters. You're not ready to spray anybody yet. You haven't finished your job. And there's Bucky's. Okay. Okay. This is going to happen. Do you want mommy to give you a bath real quick? Come on over. Hi, beautiful. You ready? Come here. Oh, boy. All right. Good girl. Yes. Get you a good shower, huh? A dinner time shower. And then you know what comes? Dinner time! Oh, you're out of breath. It was a hot day, huh? It's so hot you have a fly on you. Now, Buddha and Bucky's are walking straight up to see if there's by chance any leftover hay over there. Oh, you got a fly bite on your ankle, sweetie. 
Are there bad horse flies today? I'm so sorry. Get y'all cooled off. I like to eat clean too. I don't like to eat when I'm dirty and sweaty. Buster's the same way. We both will take a shower and delay dinner just to be able to feel clean. Oh, that's a good girl. I like to give them a good cool off and get everybody calm before dinner, huh? You like it too? Yeah? You want to take a drink? You're not Rita, are you? Rita likes the drink. Uh-oh. Speaking of, here comes the hurricane. Here comes the hurricane. You going to stop her? Okay. Thank you. Oh, you want your leg done and your booty done? Okay. Hi, Rita. How are you feeling? Did you have a good day today? She's like, Mom, I'm hot. You spray my butt. Well, hey, y'all. Hanging out with my best guy, Voodoo. Just got done cleaning out his wound and realized, well, number one, I'm filthy. So is he. So is he. Uh, in the evenings, I bring him back over to eat. Today... I'm letting him eat here so that I could do a little bit of videoing. <laughs> Let me show you how far that our special boy has come. So I'd like to note that his flexibility of being able to get all the way to the ground and graze and eat, and he is eating some soaked grain right now, which is why it looks mushy. Uh, we're still taking precautionary measures against choke, so that's really important to us. But the wound itself, and I'm gonna preface this with saying, if you have sensitive stomach or, or you're sensitive to wounds and things, this is your point where you should skip for the next couple of minutes. But I have to show you the progress we're making because we're down to a, an incision that is this wide and is only finger width deep. And it will not, it'll only go finger width opening, I should say, and it'll only as deep as my knuckle. When he came home from that house or when the injury happened, it was two fists deep, two fists. I want you to look now. That's it. That's what we're left with. This tiny little space right here. And it is slowly, slowly healing on both sides. He's got his routine down pat. So in the mornings we clean and then he able, he's able to go and graze with the rest of the horses all day. I rinse it out at lunchtime when I give everyone else a, a shower off. He eats green hay for breakfast with his friends. In the evening, he comes back and normally I do his wound care and then we go to the pasture, but today we stuck around up here. He does have a little bit of a bobo still here from this, where this split. I put sunscreen on it every day. The sunscreen is what's causing the gunkiness on his face, but it's keeping him from blistering up and losing all of his hair. I am proud of Voodoo and his recovery. Both his physical and mental recovery is just remarkable. When I think about, we're at three and a half weeks from the incident, how far that he's come, I'm just like, I don't know. I get really emotional because when he started, y'all, his wound was from here to down to here and when I tell you it was deep I mean you I could see his heartbeat literal heartbeat now we still have to keep up this routine for probably a couple more weeks until the inside completely heals but Buddha's a warrior and a survivor and I'm so proud of him for being able to work through all of this while everything else is going on. And I think about often about how the world doesn't stop for him. The days just stay the same. You need to go. Okay, you're, you're, you're tied up there a little bit. You don't have to stay with your head down the whole time. I'm gonna switch him to the pasture to give him some water to drink in between. Okay, we're back in business. But look at how clean it looks. Now it is a little, drainy right now because I just rinsed it out 
the actual wound itself is now like the shape of a boot with this being like the back wall of the boot, meaning that it has a tiny little indent down here at the bottom. And I called Dr. Cochran and A&M about that because I was like, hey, it could pull up right there because it's actually, you know, it's a little bit deeper. And they both said that when he bends down to graze, that it will all drain out forward. And he's not like a human where he's sitting upright all the time and we have to worry about that. So as long as he gets to graze, which he was super excited about, then uh, he's good to go from that standpoint. We are still packing it, uh, but I don't do that until after he's done eating. And the reason is that if I pack it after he's done eating tonight, then he will be upright for the night mostly because he doesn't graze in here. There's not, there's not a lot to graze, right Patch? <laughs> um, so when he stays upright, that wound doesn't open up. Uh, there's a really, there's a muscle there that stays primarily closed like this. And whenever he goes to eat and he bends forward, it gives it a little opening like that. So it's come a long, long way, y'all. Like incredibly a long way. He's hot right now. He's kind of breathing heavy, which who could blame him? It's been a really 105 hot day. But I love that he fits right back in his herd. I love that even right now at dinner time, when everybody else had their food, he knew that he was coming out to eat over here. Um, he likes to eat his soft food and then take a dip here in the water. Eat his soft food, take a dip here in the water, which is really good for his digestion as well. So that is our voodoo update. Please be proud of him because we certainly are. We love you. You're gonna think this is funny, but I am embarrassed to admit that I thought I was recording an entire bath of voodoo and uh, I got soaked and disgusting. Voodoo got an almost full bath. The only thing I couldn't get was certain parts of his face. He just, he was done at that point in time, but he's eating. They're eating, the littles are eating, the ostriches are eating, and now, these guys would like to eat. Production, check, dirt, everywhere, all over me, check. Thanks for helping me do chores.